G'day, John for the Hot End and for the Man Cave channel. As promised, I'm going to have a look at this little mini lathe that Banggood sent us. Before I begin, let me tell you, I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, the mini lathe. As I said, I have never used a wood lathe before and the last time I used a metal lathe was around about 45, maybe 50 years ago. So this will be mm, interesting. Right, and now you can see what I can see. This is the lathe. Um, there's a few things here that I um, think I know what they are, but let's check it out. This part is the tail stock, I know that much. It has a live center, in other words, this spins. It has a drill type chuck at the drive end. It has this, some sort of guard I assume, which I don't think we'll be needing, so we'll whip that off. Okay, gone. It was at this point that my audio recording system failed, so I'm just doing a voiceover here. What you're seeing is the tailstock mounting system and the tailstock that can push in and out via that knob, screw in and out. This is the chisel mount, and that moves in and out, as you can see there. And this is the little mounting piece. I didn't get one with mine. I had to make one out of a screw, but it's a simple principle. It's just a screw thread, and you mount it into the chuck. Here's my bit of timber that I've got ready to put into the lathe. I've already marked the centers and put a little bit of a hole in it, uh, not very deep, just so that I can screw that into that screw in the chuck. So we're just screwing, screwing, screwing. There we are, that's in. Now we need to move up the tail stock, put the live center into the hole that I drilled and tighten that down. Very easy, very simple. Then we wind in that live center so that it's all nice and tight. Yeah. And then we do up the lock nut to make sure nothing moves. Now you'll see me just finger tighten this. I actually did tighten it with a wrench, but um, I cut that little piece out. Right, there we are. We're all mounted up, ready to go. Fire it up. So far, so good. Spins, looking good. Now, I don't have any wood lathe chisels, so I had to just use a normal chisel that I already had. It's just a flat, narrow chisel. So I'm going to use that and hope for the best. Hearing protection, of course. Eye protection. And dust protection. So that's the best I've got anyway for dust protection. Let's give it a whirl, see what happens. This is the speed control knob, but it works better when you actually turn it on. There we are. Oh, and it tends to walk around on the bench. That's not good. We can't have that. So we'll have to clamp it down to the bench. I've got a clamp here somewhere. There we go. We'll just make sure that that's on nice and tight and that the tail of the clamp isn't going to impede the workpiece there. Move it out a bit. Tighten her up. Okay, now we're good. That's not going anywhere. Right, I've just got to set that chisel rest so that it doesn't touch the workpiece, but as close as you can to the workpiece. 
Now a lot of this stuff that I'm saying I actually learnt off other YouTube videos so I hope I'm doing the right thing. If I'm not, uh, please don't have a go at me. Like I said, I've never done this before. Alrighty. Speed her up a bit. And let's get into it. Now it's a good thing that the audio wasn't working here because it got a bit loud. So I'm not going to speak over this, I'm just going to let you watch what I was doing. Remember this started off as a square piece of timber, so first thing I had to do was take the square edges off. My technique obviously is not completely by the book, but it seems to be getting the job done. The chisel didn't work too badly uh, for, a, for a makeshift chisel. I was able to remove material. I'm not sure what sort of wood that was that I'm actually lathing here, but I think it was reasonably soft. can see a bit better what I'm doing. So for all the things that I've seen on other YouTube videos, it seems to be doing everything it's supposed to do. now we can have a look with it stopped yes yeah, it's, it's a bit rough but that's not too bad I think it's taken the corners off we now have a round piece so we'll keep going I don't know if you can hear the buzz in the background I do have a printer running while I'm recording this all a bit boring once you've seen how it works you can fast forward this if you want okay we're getting near the end here and I've made this thing I don't know what it is but it's a thing so We'll just grab some sandpaper and give it a clean up in a second. Got to get that guard out of the way first, otherwise you could get all sorts of things tangled up in there. We'll take that away. Just get that out of the way. And we'll give it a bit of a clean up with the sandpaper. This is the bit that I really like about wood lathing. You can do cleaning up, sanding, you can even do staining, painting, waxing, all sorts of stuff while it's spinning. It really makes it look nice. I didn't put any finish on this. Uh, I just sanded it. that's about it there it is the finished piece came up nice and smooth now we'll just take it out of the lathe loosening the tail stock screwing it off the headstock and there it is oh sorry about the focus there it is not bad
Here's some close-up views of the machine itself. A lot of it's in Chinese, of course. And sorry about that light coming on and off, but I was filming inside the garage and I had to shut the doors because, of course, the neighbour had the lawnmower going. But you can see how it all works. It's pretty simple, really. It's just an electric motor with a chuck on the end. As you can see, I clamped it down with just a clamp that I had. It's quite a solid tail stock. Once it's bolted down, it certainly isn't going to move anywhere. I'll flip it around so that you can see the back. And that's the back of it. Tells you a little bit about the machine. Okay, that's about all I've got for you on the little mini lathe. It is available from Banggood, uh, who were the people that sent it to us. So if you want one, they're pretty cheap, and it helps it out, but helps us out at the channel. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, and Patreon is really good. That helps us out as well. So. That's it, the mini wood lathe, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.